Hey everybody, Darlene here from Petal Academy. Thanks so much for tuning in to Flower Fact Friday. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite greens, the magnolia leaf. That is this gorgeous dark green and mahogany colored leaf that I have in front of me here. I'm going to hold it up to the camera just so you can have a look up close to see this beautiful branch. And these are coming to us from Florida or from south of the border. That's where we get them into the warmer climate down there. That's where they're native to. Unfortunately, we can grow magnolia up here where we are in Canada, but it does not have the same texture as this. It's got a really different texture, sort of a light green on the back and very different kind of glossy texture on the front. So these guys almost look like, um, like I always want to say they look like Bambi fur, like deer fur. They're so soft. They've got this nice mahogany brown on the back, glossy green on the front, and these can be used a multitude of ways. We use them in centerpieces, in wreaths, in urn arrangements. They hold up magnificently outside in the winter, and they will freeze if we have an extremely cold winter. So you've got to be a little bit careful with them. They can go black if they get really, really frozen, but you've got to keep an eye on them. And, and sometimes here, we're in Ontario, if the temperature fluctuates a lot you'll notice that they can discolor but overall they hold up amazingly outside through the winter months so they're a great addition to break up some texture of your winter greens in your arrangements a couple of fun facts that you can do with these you can have them just in a vase just like this inside your home they make a beautiful statement just all one collection of magnolia in a vase typically we trim the ends just with a pair of clippers on an angle, place them in lukewarm water, and you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on that water, make sure it doesn't dry out. Magnolia typically will perform a little bit better outside where it's cool, rather than in a hot home with a fireplace going, they can dry out a little bit. So you gotta keep an eye on that water, that's important. Another little fun fact that you can do is sometimes we'll take the little leaves off and we kind of roll them up a little bit and we'll sort of put a little wire around the outside and make these little kind of clusters and use them in arrangements or wreaths. They're really fun to use just like that. You can watch another video on up close on how we do that, um, but that's a little fun tip. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video, please subscribe below, hit the like button. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and visit petalacademy.com for all things floral and for your floral subscription boxes. Till next time, live life in full bloom.